Hello everyone and welcome to Upsurge. Tear glands are the portfolio of one of our colleagues. About this time last year, he invested in some American stocks. If we examine his portfolio now, it has grown by over 100% attributed to the American market stabilizing after last year's bear run. Similarly, numerous companies and indices beyond India are thriving. But most people don't know how to invest in into international markets. So in today's video, I'll help you clear all your doubts regarding international investing and help you understand all the possible ways how you can invest globally. So let's begin. The first and easier way to invest globally is through mutual funds and ETFs. As you might already know, a mutual fund or an ETF is an investment pool that takes money from investors and invests in securities. So, the way how you can invest in other mutual funds that invest in Indian securities, likewise, you can simply discover funds that invest in global equity and other securities. But I'm sure most of you might be aware of this route and are here to know how to invest in particular stocks globally. How? 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 So for that, one of the ways through which you can do that is through the Gift City. The Gift City was set up in Gujarat by the two largest exchanges of India, NSE and BSE. The Gift City has the Gift IFSC, which is set up for international exchanges that is trading in equity shares of companies incorporated outside India. BSE has set up the India INX and NSE has set up NSE IFSC Limited, both in the Gift IFSC. So let's start talking about the India INX first. India INX Global Access, one of the platforms of India INX, offers a centralized facility to route orders to multiple international exchanges. What this simply means is that you can buy foreign shares directly from several international stock exchanges across the globe through a single interface of India INX Global Access. So, this eliminates the need for investors to register separately on each international exchange, which decreases the cost of accessing global markets. India INX has partnered up with over 130 stock exchanges that operate across 31 countries. Some of the partnered stock exchanges are NYSE, NASDAQ, London Stock Exchange, Toronto Stock Exchange and others. Now, if you think that this facility costs a lot, you're in for a surprise. There are zero account opening fees, zero annual charges, zero software and mobile application fee, zero fund deposit and one free withdrawal per month. Also, you can get access to research reports, fundamental data and tools for technical analysis on the India INX Global Access Integrated Terminal without any additional cost. Another important feature of this facility is fractional shares. Fractional shares allow you to buy a dollar value of a stock irrespective of its price. So basically, what this means is that you can own a fraction of a share in stock on the US markets. Say Google is trading at 100 US dollars per share, but you don't want to risk investing 100 US dollars in just one stock. Then you can buy $10 worth of Google shares. So in that case, you'll own a 0.1 share. India INX Global Access provides a facility to buy a fraction of more than 6,600 shares of the United States. You can open an account with India INX Global Access online through a hassle-free process and start investing or trading in foreign equities. One thing to note here is that the brokerage charge is quite high. For instance, $1 of brokerage is charged per order for US listed stocks and ETFs. So brokerage wise, it will only make more sense if you're placing bigger orders. We've attached a video link in the description to know the exact process of opening an account with India INX Global Access. Now let's discuss NSE IFSC. NSE IFSC has a different model of offering foreign stocks than that of India INX. The NSE has launched depository receipts for 50 popular US stocks, including Alphabet, Amazon, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Microsoft, Nike, Tesla and many more, all of them getting listed in a phased manner. So to trade or buy stocks at the NSE IFSC, you'll need a new DMAT account with an IFSC registered broker. Your existing DMAT account used for trading domestic shares won't be enough. So these are the steps you can follow to trade with the NSE IFSC. Step 1. Open a trading and DMAT account with an IFSC registered broker. If your current broker is already registered with NSE IFSC, reach out to them to know about any formalities that you have to complete before you can start trading in US stocks on the international exchange. Now, transfer funds from your Indian bank account to the account of the IFSC registered broker. Since NSE IFSC trades are conducted in US dollars and not Indian rupees, currency conversion is mandatory to make investments in the NSE IFSC US stocks. 
You can start trading in US stocks listed on the exchange once your funds have been transferred to the account of the IFSC registered broker. Now, in terms of cost, the NSE IFSC exchange charges 12 cents for every 100 US dollars of stocks traded, along with brokerage charges varying from broker to broker. As mentioned, in the case of NSE IFSC, you deal in depository receipts and not shares directly. So, you must know what a depository receipt is. A depository receipt is a financial instrument that represents the underlying securities of a listed company. In this model, the depository receipts represent the shares of foreign companies. The difference between shares and depository receipts is that the receipts are issued in a certain ratio of the underlying shares. For example, 1 is to 10 or 1 is to 200. For instance, one receipt might hold 100 shares. In that case, the ratio would be 1 is to 100. Now, let's talk about one more way of investing in global stocks which has gained popularity during COVID. That is through brokers like Indmoney, Vested, ICICI Direct, Upstocks, HDFC Securities, etc. So, what these brokers do is partner with foreign stock brokers and act as intermediaries for opening your accounts and executing your trade. You can open an overseas trading account with any such broker by submitting a prescribed set of documents. These domestic brokers are affiliated with different foreign brokers. However, it is important to get clarity on the changes in this model as it will include the fees from domestic brokers as well as from the affiliated foreign brokers besides bank charges for currency conversion, money transfer and a lot more. The more direct method is obviously to open an overseas trading account with a foreign broker. There are several foreign brokers that have a presence in India. Some such brokerages are Charles Schwab, Ameritrade, Interactive Brokers, etc. If you're opting for this route, again, ensure that you understand the fees before opening the account. Once you've opened a trading account, you need to go select your shares and send money to the brokers directly through your bank. But sending money overseas is not as simple as sending money to a friend in the neighborhood. Now, when you deal in foreign stocks, it is very important for you to be well-versed with the RBI and SEBI guidelines before making your trade. The reason why we curated a course on international investing on our platform covering all the nuances and ensuring that you understand international investing end to end.